Oh, really? Yeah, so, so he said something about, um, he actually had suggested something similar to that back in the 70s when, when um, the Tank Big project was going on. Oh, wow. Mm, yeah, anyway. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Well, um, anyway, 11 o'clock on Friday. Yeah. Well, thanks for. Your house is, oh, what? Your house is still there. Oh, phew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're really looking forward to um, getting back getting into home. it. Yeah. yeah. How's Laura feeling? She's she's not sick at the moment, which is great. <laughs> she's been really oh, hammered by um, allergies and dust and. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Hey, we liked that video of you and her wandering around the that wherever it was. Oh. Your yeah, that was the 8 a.m. on a Labor Day Monday. Pra um, parade, so promoting the. Uh, All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm, sweet. We had two people in the parade and three people media. Stop buying crap. To, to make, make yourself feel better. Jobs desperate. Makes us all feel better. This is a do-it-yourself uh, protest. Absolutely. Just add water. Sweet. All right. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Good. Thanks. See, see you Friday, Friday at eleven. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Damn support. Very supportive. That's been uh, interesting. where the supports come from. In central Wellington, this bland office space is part of a bold statement about the value of being unemployed. No one should be forced into a job because un um, unhappy people in jobs are not economically efficient. Okay? So we cannot afford for people to not be happy doing jobs. Unemployed artist Teo Wells has set up the Wells Group, a fake PR company for a piece of conceptual art called the Beneficiaries Office. The work's funded by a $2,000 Creative New Zealand grant, with $1,500 more for expenses. But on and off for the past 13 years, Wells has also been funded by the government. He's been on the dole. I am saying that it is my collective wealth as well as yours. It's all of our collective wealth that pays for benefits. Wells says the grant's been spent on stationery, food and transport from his new Plymouth home. Since the work opened, his benefit has been suspended, which he's trying to sort out with work and income. I am looking for full-time work, yes. The project also looks at the number of offices in the capital which are vacant. The idea of putting an unemployed artist into an employed environment and a work environment kind of tickled our fancy quite a lot. The Wells Group will be open for business of sorts for the next two weeks. Charlotte Tonkin, 3 News. Hi. Um, uh, do I have Laura. Mr. Castles? This is Laura. Laura. Ian, how do you do? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Ian, uh, this is Dick White. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are you going? He's Chief Documentation uh, Man. Yeah. No, he's actually a. Uh, our brains. All oh, right. Yeah. Not, not, not a yeti. <laughs> He's a sort of resident cosmic hippie. All right. Yeah. He's a philosopher. He's a philosopher. No, I'm I'm the hippie. I'll fight for that. I know it's got a bad reputation, uh -huh. but we'll try and you know take it back and make it more of a. I mean, a hippie is the same as a punk, right? They're a social activists. I don't think uh, people enjoy working in offices in, 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 anyway. No, they're very unhealthy. Our apples are dying, our plants are dying. Yeah, that apple's probably quite old, though. It's about three days. And we, we don't quite know how to care for the plants. We've got to water them. Well, I'm not going to talk to them. Yeah. I've been watering them and they've well, Maybe dying. you've overwatered them. Yeah, I think you have to spritz them, so I just put yeah. some water on the leaves. Spritz, yeah. 
Yeah. So are you deliberately not putting the power on, or is that too hard? Uh, well, the lights are very um. Uh, I got dizzy. <laughs> it's my call. <laughs> Yeah, and I actually, little country animal should stay out in the wide open spaces. <laughs> <laughs> I actually find it a lot nicer with the natural light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and with the but screens as well. On, it does but save on the power bills, doesn't mm. it? Yeah. Mm. So I haven't taken, I haven't read it. I'm, I'm not a detailed person, so I've just only just seen it briefly in the paper, and okay. I, I go along with the idea that people shouldn't be doing things that they don't want to do. Obviously, but isn't the economic the bottom line there? But then it's really a question of how do you organise in a world which is already basically structured along certain lines, how do you reorganise it in a way that makes sense? Well, um, that is the big picture. These are the questions that we need to be asking ourselves. Mm. Do, are we really just perpetuating a system that you know, is built to crash and burn um, on a regular basis? It doesn't crash that often. I know we've been through a bit of a one, but it's, it's not... It's, it's not, oh, well, no. Compared with other systems. I don't mean, yeah. I don't mean like, r r ruin. But we're talking about a system that's designed to, you know, collect a massive amount of wealth and move it to... It's like situation. nature. I mean, you have good harvests and bad harvests. It's, it's quite... It, no system is work, works on a straight line. Like, it, it must correct uh, recessions, booms, busts. Mm. And that's part of its health, really. Well, I, I mean, I like even the plants. I mean, even some plants have to die to live properly. I mean, there's all sorts of oh, cycles look, in nature. We, yeah, but the, the people at the top, the survival of the fittest, are they, they're not surviving either. I mean, they're, oh. no. So they're not tremendously happy. No. no. So that's what we're addressing. We're not just uh, you know addressing the radical left. We're actually interested in talking to the radical right. Mm. Um, this is about what are our best ideas? What mm. are they? Because um, you know if, 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 the, if, if their solution is building castles and well you know. I mean, those things, you know, we, they fall. <laughs> Castles fall. You find most passionate people of, of either of any persuasion are all more or less the same. They're all, they're all chasing something. I mean, you're chasing an ideal in your own right, mm. or espousing one. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm investigating these issues. Mm. I, I don't think they're discussed. I think we have a um, system that's closed down the discussion for various reasons of that, again, just perpetuate um, a, a, an end game or a scenario that doesn't really work. And you talked earlier about a harvest, right? Um, yeah, we do create incredible harvests. But where is that profit going? What is it actually achieving? I mean, Bill Gates might have incredible, um, you know, profit. And wh what is he doing with it? He goes around being Mr. Philanthropist. Uh, why is that tolerated? Why, why are we creating a monopoly so that he can be the one person going around dictating what is... He, he, well, I, don't think, I don't think we did that. I think he took advantage of a. I think it's a system that's used to apologise for having a massive monopolies over how these systems will run. And I think that's... that's surely we... No, but nobody, nobody was stopping you being Bill Gates. Nobody. Sorry, what was that? Nobody was stopping you being Bill Gates. Nobody's stopping me from being Bill Gates. No. But why would I want to be? Okay, that's, that's a different question. But there's nothing. I mean, you, you're almost answering your own question at the same time. You're saying he's not particularly happy. He's not particularly fulfilled, possibly. I think he probably is because I think he's well, done some exciting things and and and, so and moved I. the world's wealth to some extent. So, so am I. This is the thing. Yeah. And like I'm saying that the majority of the system is gained, is built to perpetuate Bill Gates' template of success, which you've, we've admitted is maybe not that happy. Whereas I'm saying I'm at the other end, putting my head yeah. in, into the into the political arena of, of sorts, saying, "Well, I'm happy. You know, I feel socially connected and socially involved and socially." Um, more interested in not perpetuating a system that clearly isn't working. So okay, well, there's discontentment, and then there's production or productivity or achievement or deeds. Yeah, what so, are those? So what are yours? What are your what are your ambitions in terms of moving the world one degree not, not nicer, better, more fulfilling, more sustainable? What 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 are, what are your? I, I bring up these issues. I bring these issues to a public audience. Okay, so talking about them is one thing, so suppose we Well, talking all... about them, you know, as, 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 the, as the drunk, as the addict will um, regularly tell you, talking about them is the first step. Talk, okay. Recognising that addiction is And I don't think we can. I'm, if you look at the responses to this project, they've been hysterical. Mm. 
they've been unbelievably juvenile. Juvenile. We're talking about people in massive positions of power. And we've given these people positions of power. We have ministers. I think and they to, are reacting you got to like step, you got, you've, children. You've got to I, I step back from it. No, no, but you have to... You have to simultaneously see what it is that they're getting uh, I know grumpy about. I know what it is. Which is, if you take the motivation away from people, then you do tend to have It's the exploitation of the work ethic. That's what we're talking about. And we're not allowed to have someone at the bottom actually be happy, because the, the idea runs on oppression. If they are miserable, then they will want what is at, at the top. And they will use whatever means necessary to get that position at the top. I don't think anybody seriously wants people to be miserable as, well, a, as, a, as a result of their position. I, well, you Not just, really. You, but I, I don't think we want that, and that's why I ask these questions. Why are we perpetuating a system that actually just is generating misery at both ends? Mm. You know, why do we have... Um, uh, well, I mean, yeah. Just I, like, I think just that. any system will produce that result. Any, well, I, any structure, system... Here's what I think. The, I think that the any system is something that we naturally rip off. We want the best of it. We want to master it, okay? Whether it's sports or it's, it's economics. It's, it's, rules it's, the game. it's rules the game and you get very good at it. Yeah. And, and then... Too good at it, probably. I think people are too good at it. But I think, is, is that, I, think that, I think what I'm very interested in is, is that if it is a game and we can master it, what, what, why are we going in that direction? Why are we always going in that direction when it seems to be quite clearly a car wreck? Yeah, but uh, you have a population of a certain size. We have to organise ourselves on some basis. I, I, I would suggest not, that... It, not, not just but, or you, almost any basis you suggest will have side, un, unintended consequences, side effects, that, always, will, be, that yes. will be similar to some degree to what we have at the moment. Do we know this? Well, I think it's pretty clear. I think most organisations have got... I mean, you're talking about the side effect of organisation or setting up rules or setting up a structure. What I'm saying is any structure, and we need one because we've got a large population, you need, you need a, a series of incentives, payments. You, you need something. I mean, either you... You, um, you, can't, just, you, you I, can't just let it well, occur I, I, because, I, I because, because it won't occur very well. No, well, I, I'm not saying that we get rid of... Structures. And I'm also saying that I don't have the solution. I'm saying that there are ideas out there that we should be actually engaged with them. And I'm saying at the moment we have a system that actually does not encourage new ideas. It actively shuts down new ideas. If someone invents something new, the competitor will buy that patent to make sure it doesn't happen. Now, it might be in our public interest that we do have new technologies to provide different... Yeah. Um, so, but the point is, is that fossil fuel companies or nuclear power companies own the patents to those. Now, that should be not allowed. It should be illegal. But this is what the system allows us, allows us to have and actually perpetuates and promotes that kind of no, but reasoning. What, supposing somebody set up an office next door mm. and they provided the same idea as you're providing You'd be slightly pissed off, wouldn't you? I mean, isn't there something... No, no, that, don't need... you want to own your own creative ability? Don't you want to actually say well, that... Wait, own? Well, you know, you want to be associated, identified with... No. I, I, if, if there were 20 people running around town exactly I, like you, you'd need... feel a little belittled by that. No, you wouldn't be I, that it's happy. not an egotistical exercise for me. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there needs to be... There needs to be some level of protection for things that are invented and created. I would have thought. Oh, the uh, definitely... Otherwise people won't do it. No, uh, that's a different point than the point I was making. There definitely needs to be protection. But what I'm saying is that the, um, the, the application of that protection is protects um, the original system uh, and who has the power rather than promoting yeah. new ideas and promoting the people that have different intentions with the... Adventures. Now, if, if we're talking about the survival of the fittest, right, we're not really talking about the survival of the fittest. We're talking about the survival of existing power. So that's, those are two different pictures there. Because so, so the existing power will, will squash innovation and evolution. That doesn't mean that they're, the, they're actually the end point for what we should be doing or some, some marvelous yeah. thing. Yeah. 
So, you know, an idea like this needs to be um, replicated, and it is replicated in various ways, mm. um, you know, as many times as possible. Um, and I think what this project has shown is actually we've embarrassed art, the art world, we've embarrassed um, uh, PR companies, we've embarrassed um, uh, government agencies, we've embarrassed by doing such a bloody good job, not knowing what we're doing, not knowing how to do this. We've just gone, oh, let's have a go at it. Mm -hmm. And I think, that's the, I think that's what's interesting, is that democracy is out there. Democracy, you can grab it. You, you are powerful. We're, we're powerful. It's just that we don't act it. And we don't act it because the game requires us not to. So um, I think that's in a nutshell what's going on here. So you're the exhibition, that's good. Well, you are, yeah. <laughs> These guys are. Right. Yeah, I mean, anyone... I, I walked past about four times looking for you, convinced that you'd have a sign on the footpath. You wanted but one no. of those? Isn't this much more rewarding? <laughs> instead of having to, like... It's a mission. Yeah. yeah. Was it a fun mission? It's like... Oh, it was frustrating, I have to say. Oh, but well, you're happy you can life's like that. Yeah. Well, I am. I finally decided to come up here. I had to go to the computer to find out where you were. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so that wasn't so much fun. Oh, that sounds, yeah. <laughs> I hate the damn thing, I'm a slave to it. Right. Yeah. I'd rather be rolling around on the floor. And you, and you do that, like, every day? Is there a class? Like... Uh, I do, what do I do now? Three classes a week. And uh, then I run a centre up on Tinakori Road where I do it one to one, roll people around wow. on a table. Wow. On a table? That's a big table. It's a big table. It's like a massage table, but it's lower and wider. And this is something you've developed? This table? Oh, no, no, no. This guy, Dr. Feldenkrais, developed Dr. Feldenkrais. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's named after the founder. Mm. Did he just do the movement idea or did he do that? I, yeah, well, he was a physicist and an engineer and a judo master, and that's. Ah. And then he injured his knees playing soccer, so he developed the system for learning how to function better. Maybe I heard about him through that artist who does the paintings of the bodies on the floor. Um, oh, damn it. He did that photo where he jumped off the building. Like oh, Yves Klein. Yeah. Klein. I think he might have been into him, but I'm not sure. Mm. You have to be a bit sort of weird to be attracted to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this artist would get massive That's pieces sex. of paper. It was kind of sexist, really, because he would get naked women and, and get them to move around it, covered in paint. But he would never really use men, which is, you know, yeah. <laughs> questionable. But um, <laughs> the idea totally itself was quite... Quite nice. Yeah. It showed his limitations as an artist. Yeah. 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 Oh well. Now why don't you come to a class sometime? Hmm? Hop along. If we could afford it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me get a job. Oh, when you're unemployed, you can't do these interesting new exactly. things. Exactly. That's a very good point. Yeah. Who needs it the most? You know, who's that? You know, these people. Oh yeah, the people that are all stressed out working slaving away in horrible offices in front of computers all day. They have to spend all this money de-stressing from it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It is all crazy. And they pay for the childcare, the de-stressing, and the extra transport you need to get in and out. Yeah. Just so you can keep the system going. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So that you can get to that top position so you can exploit your workers. And then die of a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. No, it seems pretty <laughs> silly, yeah. It's a terrible system. It's a silly, it's a silly system. But anyway, we'll go along with well, it. Well, it's good that someone's challenging it all. Thanks. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you. Sue. Sue, nice yeah. to meet you. And Hello. Laura. Bye. -bye. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. Bye. -bye. Oh, do you want to um, receive an email about them? Oh, and we've well, got yeah, we've got a little yeah. info um, flyer about some readings and YouTube movies. Yeah. And you can just write your email address there, and then I can, or if you have. This summer, there is a political storm brewing. Well, gloves off a dirty tricks campaign, now pushing and shoving in Parliament. Party members are busted by the mainstream media. National's deputy leader, Bill English, has been caught on tape making candid comments about his boss. Watch the smiling assassin tell bold-faced lies to New Zealand people. You will not sell Kiwi Bank full stop. We have no intention no, to no, sell. No, that's not good enough. You will not sell Kiwi Bank full stop. Well, that's the way I would see it. When? Now? Tomorrow? Next week? Well, that's the way I see it. I wouldn't see us see, selling this is Kiwi. where it gets slippery. This is why this campaign's working. It's he he said something completely opposite to what the party stands for. No, he didn't. He, look, he just said... You see, we want to do it. But not no, now. No, no, he didn't say we want to do we it. We want to do it, but not now. No, he didn't say we want to do it, not now. He, he didn't say that. They are not his words. His exact words are, well, eventually, but not now. Well, eventually, but not now. Who would have guessed 48 hours later, he'd boot the shit out of solo mothers and beneficiaries. Hi, New Zealand. I'm Taylor Wealth. Now that John Key and I aren't speaking, I've decided to launch my Work and Income New Zealand national tour with three ideas for the state. First idea, hey, let's consult local iwi of New Zealand and incorporate an insignia or a motif that they've created on every flagpole in the country. So hey, travelling through this great land of ours, we might understand which area, which iwi, we're actually occupying or travelling through. Second idea is to work with Australians. Why don't we try and get them to adopt an idea that we do here in New Zealand where we incorporate indigenous words into our mainstream media newscasts. For example, in Melbourne, the local Boona and Wanarong people share the word for welcome, which is Womanjika. But surely this word, well, Manjika, could be incorporated into their local nightly news, don't you think? Like, well, Manjika, welcome to the news at six. I like it. Uh, third idea, shared lane. Instead of creating expensive bicycle lanes and cycle paths and various other types of roads, let's create a shared lane, New Zealand. This shared lane, a dotted line down every road, will just give a clear indication to cars and trucks that if there is a bicycle in this lane, please slow down and signal like any other legal entity that's allowed to use the road. So if you believe me and not John Key, and if Bills and English both trouble you, why don't you come see my show at a local community centre near you or try an art gallery? It's called Free Ideas for the State. Ahoy there, matey. Uh, um, the beneficiaries of so unemployed or uh, wealth group? Question mark. Unemployment matters. <laughs> Hello, Joe. <laughs> Joey Bennett. Hello Joe. Taylor Wells here of the Wells Group. Um, then I'll put some links in of what we're doing. Yeah. 
Maybe I could just, but she just fought on the Kiwi blog. Disgust. No. <laughs> That'll put him off a bit too quick. Yeah, but quick, quick, quick. Stuff. I'll just send on the website, Wells Group, and get his head around that, don't you? Yeah, and are there other links? Like, are, there other, are there other, from the Wells Group, are there other um, links to the stuff and the TV blog and the... Yeah, it's all on the Wells Group. Oh, it's all there? Yeah, yeah, okay. all the media. Media. A Wellington artist has defended receiving thousands of dollars in taxpayer funding to promote unemployment as a valid lifestyle. Tao Wells' exhibition is being staged with $3,500 of funding from Creative New Zealand. The funding body says the idea is to prompt debate. The politicians have slammed it as a waste of taxpayers' money. This is the beneficiary's office. It's where artist Teo Wells will be based for the next two weeks, advocating the opportunities and benefits of unemployment. I believe that uh, the true artists of our times are the politicians and the PR companies and the lobby groups that are creating the frames um, for how we interpret reality. The 37-year-old says this is conceptual artwork, marketing the idea of unemployment as a valid lifestyle, hoping to spark debate about whether an advanced society would see us work less. We're hoping to get people involved in the direction of society. <laughs> Nothing less than that. <laughs> but what's angered many is the three and a half thousand dollars of public money Wells received from Creative New Zealand for the project. You actually have to ask the question, frankly, should Creative New Zealand actually exist if this is what they do? Creative New Zealand says the aim of this piece is to generate discussions around social issues and art. The curator of the exhibit says it's worth every cent. This is the project in itself, really. Um, Teo, Teo has set this up in order to create reaction and no, we, um, the project's only really just begun. However, the Acting Social Development Minister isn't convinced. Well, I think he's obviously a very creative chap, but if only he'd put the same effort and energy into his CV, then he probably wouldn't have a problem. Ryan Boswell, Prime News. Teo Wells here of the Wells Group. Um, love your work. <coughs> uh, when I lived lived in Chicha uh, a few years ago, I couldn't remember your name, but I loved you. Anyway. I enjoyed reading your uh, newspaper. Oh, I'm such a rambler. Good, that's fine. It's yeah. personal. All right. Personal. Um, hello, Joe. Tay Wells here at the Wells Group. Love your work. When I lived in Christchurch, Chicha, a few years ago, I enjoyed reading your newspaper stories about local business personalities, and the dog stories are true, of course. Look, I've... Created a monster that needs a good T H O R thorough um, going over with a Sharp word comb. So, I'm just running the newsletter to you. Yeah. So I want to send that to our database. And, and I just want to summary what, how do you reckon it has been the last two weeks? Uh, pure pleasure. 
an absolute joy. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you like people who have dropped in and seen you? Ah, it's, uh, oof, just, I can only recommend that everyone um, do this as soon as they can. Start a group. Okay. Create slogans. And uh, get your message um, placed in the media. The media is media is ours. You know, as the politicians say, it's like feeding chooks. You can get them to say what you want. And the good journalists. It's not, um, it's not. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good journalists are asking questions, and that's just a, you know that's you want that. You're looking for those journalists that are asking you questions. I love the feeding jokes. It's great. Just that, that's it. That's good. is it right? It just comes at the end. Well, I'm seriously going to use that. Is it okay? I borrowed that. That's from um, the Holland Man. Who? The Holland Man. Holland The Holland Man. That's Nicky. Nicky Hager. Nicky Hager said. Oh, well, he didn't. He didn't say that. Um, he, well, yeah, he was quoting other journalists saying, uh, uh, politicians saying that that's how they choose. As the politicians say, it's like feeding chooks. Yeah, that's okay. good. Yeah. Politicians say. It's like feeding chooks. Good. Beautiful. <laughs> <That's hard. laughs> and now it's on Thursday, we'll have a discussion of the project at the Film Archive at 1 pm on Taranaki Street. Is it Gazney or Taranaki? It's on the corner of Gazney. Yeah. It's true. At 1pm. All welcome, bring your lunch. Alright? Oh, welcome. <laughs> You're all welcome. You're all welcome. You're welcome. I was pretending I like that one. I just turned. I said, um, maybe. Oh, no, I am. Peter McCleavy always says that. Artists will be in attendance. In attendance. Well, the oh, artist will be attending. Dick's going, and you're going. I get the reason I'm famous. You're the famous. Yeah, I'm never going. No. You don't go to a No, no. In office. I thought I'd call it in office. The meet the girls group has had a very prominent two weeks in office. Do you know that? In office. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice <laughs> pun. Yeah, like we've been elected. Yeah. Yeah, three. Yeah. I've got a lot show all about. Um, election stuff. Well, we did. We elected ourselves to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Got all these posters, that campaign posters from Wells 97. Oh, yeah. So when I was running for avant gardist of the year. Didn't work out. It, and you know, the question as it are is not a real question. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like held up as the goal, and therefore artists are are trying to achieve that question. And so by trying to achieve it, they're perpetuating it. And what they're not understanding, I believe, is that it's it's a limitation imposed on them by the institution, and by 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 actually trying to achieve a limitation. They're, they're, they're bought artists. I mean, he, the classic um, way that, the, that, the, that, that this is described is um, you're not allowed to bite the hand that feeds. And that just, that just astonishes me when I hear that phrase because it's like, right, so you want artists to be pets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course you want artists to bite the hand that feeds. You want them to bite off the hand that feeds and you want them to feed on it. Exactly, exactly. I, uh, I agree entirely with that. That the, Well, the that's not what's happening. Our artists are, 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 are neutered. Our artists are um, trained like obedient dogs. What is art? Oh, oh, it's, just, oh, oh, it's just such a you know, civilized game. It's a, it's a dead game. It's a corporate game, what is art. And what's more, far more relative and what is very, very rare is asking questions, necessary questions, to the 
public mm -hmm. bypassing the press mm -hmm. of the gallery system and going straight to intelligent people and on the way um, knocking over a few stupidly ignorant um, fascists like you know mm -hmm. basically pre pulling off the, the the pasting over of the pus that is sitting there quite happy um, sucking in the wealth of this country yeah I, I, I agree I, I think that there's um uh, an interesting play on that question that gets constantly brought up in the mass media when an artwork is concerned and it, it is that, that constant tired discourse of is it art or what is it's, art? It, it, the point of, we have to understand that there's only, it's, it, there's only one point to that question and the point is, is to stop the discussion about the content that yeah. this new idea is bringing to the public now, the public may want to engage with it, but the media and the corporate interest behind it cannot afford to allow an artist to bring unfettered, unchained ideas to the marketplace, because mm -hmm. this will un unstabilize their dominance on it. Everything, yeah. nothing, sure. yeah. Yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. and there doesn't mean any other. And the photocopying, I spent $44 on the printing, I must say. Um, which, oh, you don't have to. Look at that. Oh, look at have got to put it in cups. Yeah. Nice. Well, script style, man. <laughs> Recycled. Um, low. Yeah, low That's carbon. Just straight from the bottle. Straight from the bottle. Oh, I've got it in the cup. There you go. And that was an entrepreneur. Yeah. I don't mind shouting you guys that thing that, 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 that there was, if you wanted to kind of count all the expenses, that was $44 for that printing for the Inuit Time script. Oh, cool. Just put it on. Just put it on. Yeah. Do you have the receipt? Yeah, I should do. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. But I don't, yeah. Thanks for doing that. $44. Quite a lot, eh? That is a lot. But you wanted it single sided, didn't you? Yeah, they, they, they did a great job. They're mm. beautiful objects. So can I read out? Yeah, read it out. Hello, Joe. Writing for a living, the beneficiary's office. Hello, Joe. Tell us you have the Wells Group website. Um, love your work. When I lived in Chicha a few years ago, I enjoyed reading your newspaper stories about local business personalities. And the dog stories are a treat too, of course. Look, I've created a monster that needs a good thoroughgoing over with a sharp word comb. See website, especially media column. I've been stuck in an irrelevant art context for a decade and I don't want to do things the way they're supposed to be done. Would you be interested in writing a couple of thousand words for, for, the, peop for the people on your particular take on all this? If you'd like to talk to me about this and reply here, otherwise contact Mark and Sophie, who are the curators of the show and are very helpful. Appreciate your time, I expect you're too busy. Tsk tsk, I've really wanted your perspective on my artwork for a while now. Strange bedfellows. Just call me your fuck buddy. <laughs> um, you keep the fuck bit out, you see. Yeah. Strange Yeah, that's no, nice. Maybe just put an early, rather than your perspective, just say this is going to be, this is kind of like an essay commissioned to be part of the series. Okay. Because it sounds like you just writing. want his feedback. All right, writing... Um, and take something about commission. An essay. We'd like to commission you. So, we, yeah. We, we would. We, we were talking about commission, commissioning you. We would. <coughs> we, uh, we would be interested. We would be interested in commissioning you to write an essay. On all of this. On, on the project. On, on the Wells Group. On the Wells Group. And this. On the Wells Group and all this. <laughs> and the Wells Group and the project which is, has started from an artistic context, maybe? What? 
even though you're saying you're abandoning us now, I kind of feel like... I'm not abandoning it. I'm just trying to want to move outside. Yeah, well, you've turned your cheeks then. But I'm thinking... Thank you help. Yeah, yeah. But it's, I guess that's the thing is the reason you're being free to do what you've done is because you have started within the art context. That's true. So I just wonder whether he just needs to be reminded that this came up. This isn't just some guy who set up an office. This is someone who's an artist who set up an office. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know who I am. No. <laughs> I meant that in a, I meant that in an innocent way. Tell us here, I'm an artist. I have I'm been an artist. artist. I have been an artist. I have been an artist. It's not saying you're still going to be an artist. Well, I talk about how I've been stuck in an irrelevant art context. It's not heavy. No, it's not. He doesn't. He doesn't get that. It sounds like you might have just been in a dead end job. Oh. It's not clear that oh. you mean you're an artist. Okay. Just say I have been an artist. The last fifteen years. Yeah. Fuck. Now it's gone. And I'm drunk. I'm half a sip of Deutz. Yeah. <coughs> what is that? What's going on? What are we doing now? Send it, send it. Just like that? Yeah. Great. On the Wales group and... She tells me on the Wales group and how I... How did she get his email address? Was, on his website, was, <laughs> or am an artist. Modern technology. something. Beneficiaries are going to have a billion dollars less to spend next year. That's a billion dollars less spending in the shops. That's a billion dollars less production. That's a billion dollars less employment. And then in my early 20s, I really wanted to change my life. I really wanted a different future than what I could see, not just for me, but it was important for me and my daughter. And I kept trying, and I just couldn't, couldn't get ahead. I kept making those same mistakes and kept falling back. And It was, it was a manageable thing. Um, for the Reserve Bank to use, initially to use employment and unemployment as the way to get wages down. It was far easier than any other means of getting inflation down. So they used it. But there are others who I believe have come to view welfare as a way of life, but it is not and never should be seen as a lifestyle choice. It was, it was a manageable thing um, for the Reserve Bank to use, initially to use employment and unemployment is the way to get wages down. It was far easier than any other means of getting inflation down. So they used it. From now on, the Reserve Bank would manipulate interest rates so that at any given time, 100 to 150,000 Kiwis would be unemployed. We believe in a welfare system that supports people when they're most in need, encourages people to get back into work, and occasionally, gives people a kick in the pants when they're not taking responsibility for themselves, their family and other taxpayers. The direction changed to helping people to compete for available work. Not actually get the work, but to be able to compete for it. More unemployed people competing for jobs was bound to drive wages down. People who receive a benefit are able to do so only because others are going to work every day earning a wage and paying taxes. In many cases, these are people who are themselves far from well off. It was, it was a manageable thing um, for the Reserve Bank to use, initially to use employment and unemployment as the way to get wages down. It was far easier than any other means of getting inflation down. So they used it. Hi there, today I'd like to talk to you about some significant changes we're making to the welfare system. Wells Group, uh, Taylor well, speaking. Use his own thing then. Ah, Lupe, how are you? Yeah, not bad. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Presbyterian. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not not the moment. No. But yeah. Awesome. Okay, you too. Bye. That was wins. Yeah. Just checking in. Just My blood in. pressure went to about <laughs> 170 over 70,000. <laughs> and, um, oh, Laura. Laura. Oh, Laura. You're giving people a false impression. <laughs> false impression. I'm, I'm a man of steel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's worth it. What did they say? It's worth it. Lupe. So what what is what are they offering? Um, they're not offering me anything because there's nothing to offer at the moment. Uh, we had a massive showdown a couple of days ago. It was really full on, really upsetting. But I just drew my line. Drew, I, 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 look. You're offering me jobs that I cannot take. I heard you. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Therefore, you're, you're purposely jeopardizing my ability to receive welfare. And you've already broken the law twice to take my, take my support off me. So I'm already stressed out by you guys. And now you're standing right in front of me telling me, that you're going to force me to take this job that I know that I'm unable to take because I live in New Plymouth. But trying to move, you know, move here for, yeah. They're just, they're just, confused. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, they've, and it's not them. They've obviously got pressure coming raining down on them. Have you met the commissioner yet? Oh, I met him. Yeah, we've had multiple meetings. So does a woman. No. Oh. And the new guy is... Yeah, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Job. No, well, the commissioner the, does. Yeah, we actually saw him in the street, and it looked like he was walking along with his gay lover. And um, I saw him notice me because I was walking with Dick, and we kind of like a couple. And um, it was like it was it was Two like gay couples. it was like oh oh. And then he I, I noticed that he spot me, and then he was like nudging his nudging his mate, going oh that's that guy. And they got to the end of the block, and I turned around and I saw his partner look around and like. <laughs> like, oh, you know, nice. give me the... giving a bit of shit. You didn't say hi, how are you going? I should. Yeah, nice to see you, Walter. What's his name? Okay, probably just about. All right, I'm going to skedaddle. So, see you tomorrow. We'll yeah. talk to you tomorrow, at least. Yeah. Love your work. <laughs> it's good when you can get it, eh? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Yeah. Hi. Harry! 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 Where are we scared of seeing you, Harry? Scared Harry. of seeing me? Harry, we've got some news. We've, we've, we've really been racking our brains over this, and we feel that perhaps poster projects should be put on suspended suspension until we really have... Something to post. Really have something brilliant to post, because at the moment, the best thing that we've come up with is basically an empty page. Yeah. With the Wells logo on it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I don't know how long you'd be able to milk it, if that's what you're saying, like trying to rebook it in. Like, I think you'd just be better off rebooking it in under another. Yeah, no, thing. I think I think that's what we're saying. I think we'd just we'd, 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 we'd flag it from now, but knowing that it's quite affordable and that there is that 10% that we might be able to negotiate at a different, different date. Yeah, yeah. If we had, if we had something more. Um, substantial to aim at and, and succeed on because yeah. the moment we feel like the, there's quite a nice momentum in the air and by adding any more to the broth at the stage would really be diluting and distracting rather than you know it's just an awkward moment like tomorrow is definitely going to be the last day in the office oh yeah so Wednesday Wednesday oh, we'll just pack it just out just pack it out yeah sweet it's got to be it's got to be, spot got to be spotless five. By five on me, so. so we should probably call the plant person so that they could come in tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Teo Wells' installation is called the Beneficiaries Office. It encourages people to abandon jobs they don't like rather than suffering slavery. And his Manners Street office uh, will run from today for at least two weeks. It's open to the public. It's part of the Letting Space Public Art installation series which uses vacant Wellington commercial 
spaces. Well, panel, we're going to speak to Teo Wells shortly. Is it art? Speaking as somebody who spent 10 years writing novels and supporting myself through it by working and not taking any Creative New Zealand money apart from the library fund, I just find it insulting. And I find the concept that, um, you know, you shouldn't have to work if you don't like your job. Well, get real. We've all got to work. Lots of us have to do things we don't like. It's just part of life. And this guy has obviously had his hand out for so long, he's lost a grip on reality. I mean, call me old fashioned for having a work ethic. Maybe I'm sounding like a grumpy old lady, but I, uh. yeah, I think he, he, he shows a lot of the best features of a real artist. He's creative, he's imaginative, he's challenging, he's <laughs> a critic of society. But he also shows some of the worst. He's self-indulgent, he's muddled, and he thinks unemployment's an art form, uh, which is utterly ludicrous. <laughs> Let's ask Teo all these things. Teo Wells joining the panel now. Good afternoon. Hey, it's great to be here. Nice of you to join us. Can you tell us a bit about your installation, first of all, if you wouldn't mind? Well, we're running a um, PR office. Well, who for? Um, we've taken uh, our first client, we've self-appointed ourselves to remarket Work and Income New Zealand. They obviously suffer from a bad public um, image. So WINS has a very good image amongst the art community because every year they invest millions of dollars in helping hey, people me. like you. Are, you. are you on the benefit? No, I'm no, not. Michael's not on the benefit. Well, no, I, 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 don't, don't... I don't know what your experience is like to be on the benefit and unemployed. But for mine, it is incredibly stressful. And in, you, you are treated like cattle. And I'm sick of it. What you are urging, though, Teo, is for people to break the chains of slavery whilst being supported by the rest of us slaves who pay the money for the doll. That would be fair, wouldn't it? You want to be on the dole and not suffer humiliation while on the dole? I'm saying that no one should be forced into a job. And if you are happy in your job, you are financially a better contributor to our national economy. If you look at the Nobel Prize winner of 2010, he completely concurs with this concept that you should not force people into jobs. But nobody is forced into jobs... The problem is when you can't sustain what, yourself what, without a job. That, excuse me, no, that's not. You can't just say that. That's not true. It was, was a manageable thing um, for the Reserve Bank to use, initially to use employment and unemployment as the way to get wages down. It was far easier than any other means of getting inflation down. So they used it. From now on, the Reserve Bank would manipulate interest rates so that at any given time, 100 to 150,000 Kiwis would be unemployed. When you put in your um, application to Creative New Zealand, did you tell them this is what you were doing? Excuse me, I didn't, I didn't put in an application to Creative New Zealand. Well, how did, how did, how did they come to fork out the money? Um, you have to talk to Letting Space about that. Right, so they gave the money to Letting Space and then Letting Space let you create the installation? No, they didn't let me. They chose me. They chose you. But why should we pay for your artistic lifestyle? What, what do we do with our collective wealth? That's a very good question. What, what was the last budget about? Where, where did our collective wealth go? Did it go to the, um, the bottom or the top end? So who's paying for who here? No, fair enough. We can see the arguments. I think you've got some great points, but you don't. I don't see that you need forty thousand dollars of taxpayer money, and this is the kind oh, of you thing. Idiot. And I think this is I'm the not kind of forty thousand dollars. <laughs> you're no, you're only getting. You need to be told. You're only getting three and a half. Exactly. Okay. That's good. I am. I am promoting the idea that people who are, are who are on the benefit are not wasting taxpayers' dollars.
I'm a hero, you're a hero, we're all heroes sitting here, come and join